Every graduate of Ruston High School takes a piece of Ruston High School spirit with them after graduation. However, one award recipient has taken the spirit and love of sports to multiple communities, creating an ideal business partnership. In truth, he has improved the quality of life in every community. This year's Young Alumnus of the Year is Marty Cadero, class of 1991. Marty graduated from Louisiana Tech in 1998 with a degree in marketing. As a student, he served three seasons as director of marketing of the baseball team. Marty revitalized the program's revenue stream with an aggressive sales and promotional strategy. He served as color analyst for radio broadcasts as well um, uh, in his college years. This is an interesting point. He also played the drums professionally with the popular college brand Stony Bridge. He served as business manager for the band and booked performances throughout the South. In 1999, he began his professional career as a group sales representative with the Class AA West Tennessee Diamond Jacks. He was quickly promoted to the director of ticket sales. Under Cadero's leadership, the team averaged 3,200 fans per game. In 2003 and 2004, Cadero served as director of sales for the Birmingham Barons, where he managed local, regional, and national accounts and initiated community partnerships. Then in 2005, Cadero served as general manager for the Southwest Michigan Devil Rays. Under his leadership, the organization enjoyed a 12% increase in attendance from the previous season. A 12-year veteran of minor league baseball, Marty began his fourth season as vice president and general manager of the Omaha Storm Chasers. Over the course of his career, Cordero has proven to be a valuable sales and management executive with experience in daily operations of multi-million dollar organizations. Cadero was intimately involved in every aspect of the research, negotiation process, and project management to build a new ballpark for the Omaha Storm Chasers, thus keeping AAA baseball in Omaha. He orchestrated a club first agreement with Warner Enterprises to be the Omaha Royals season title sponsor for the past four seasons and then renegotiated the naming rights partnership for the new Sarpy County Bay Ballpark that is now called Warner Park. Cadero also was instrumental in leading the organization to its highest total revenues on record during the 2010 season that broke the previous all-time high set in 2009. Pat Connor, president and CEO, says Marty Cadero is a model executive in regard to total commitment to his family, his profession, and his community. His innovation and energetic approach to advancing worthy causes in Omaha and throughout minor league baseball qualify him as an industry leader and worthy of recognition. The Omaha Storm Chasers under Marty's astute leadership have blazed the trail within the minor league baseball's initiatives focusing on diversity advancement, community engagement, and youth leadership development. Marty is married to Sarah and he has three sons, Gavin, Colin, and Cass. In addition to being an active member of many areas' chambers of commerce and in business and other business associations, Cadero serves as the regional advisor council for the ALS Association. He is a director for Community Health Charities of Nebraska. He's a member of the Rotary Club. He serves as a DECA judge and is on the parish council at St. Charles. Oh my goodness! Why do I <laughs> borrow mail? And a uh, Catholic Church. Cadero is also a board member of the uh, Algenini Midlands Hospital Charitable Council and is on the board of the Boy Scouts of America Mid American Council. Today we honor Marty Cadero for his achievements in business and in community good works that have enhanced every community where he has been employed since graduation. Marty Cadero. Uh, my mother did not throw away my baseball cards, and my wife is upset about that, so I still have them. Thank you, Mom. 
<laughs> Mine were not from the 50s, though. I can only wish. Right, Wes? Um, this is um, such an honor. Uh, is Robin Brown here? I haven't seen her yet. Uh, when Robin contacted me about a month ago, uh, we were just uh, wrapping up three days of uh, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. meetings on all the things that we had done wrong uh, in our ballpark uh, this past year. We do a review. Uh, we don't talk about what we do right because we're supposed to do things right. But we were, we were, we were kind of beat down. So this phone call, I tell you, quite, quite humbling. And after um, hearing the stories uh, and all of the great accomplishments of all the educators uh, that have been here at the podium before me, I can tell you I'm definitely not worthy. And thank you for everything that you guys have done. Uh, as educators, and um, uh, it, it's a remarkable community. And uh, I've been gone since December of 1998, and I talk about Ruston often, whether it's Ruston High, uh, whether it's um, my family, whether it's Louisiana Tech, uh, or the food. Definitely not in that order. Probably should have flipped it around with the food first. Uh, but I talk about Ruston. I talk about Lincoln Parish. I talk about Louisiana often, and. I tell you, my staff really, they, they get tired of it, uh, especially the one lone Louisiana Tech flag that flies outside amongst a lot of uh, Nebraska red. Uh, I'm not, not a convert, and I will not be. Uh, but, you know, this award and, and these accomplishments uh, have been because of what minor league baseball is, and I know minor league baseball is not uh, in this area. It was for a number of years in Shreveport. Uh, that... Um, is my background from going to baseball games with my father at Old Spar Stadium uh, that no longer exists and then Fairgrounds Field and then we would go to Texas. Uh, we would also go down and see, unfortunately I am a Cubs fan, uh, we would go to the old Astrodome and, and that was I guess my formation from a baseball love. Uh, but beyond that, you know, it was my family. It was my family. My, I'm lucky to have my father, my mother Frank and Kathy here. My 91 year old grandmother Christine Martin is here in the front. Mamma, thank you for being here today. I love you. And then a great group of a great group of friends, family. <laughs> Very proud. Uh, a great group of friends and family, and uh, all but one brother, Richie, is not here. But you know, the Rustin High community is so strong. Um, and I'm glad that my wife gets to see this. You know, we talk about would there ever be a job opportunity that would come up uh, in Louisiana that would bring us back. I don't know. You know, minor league baseball, as I was saying earlier, is not in this area. And what minor league baseball does throughout the country is really it's based on community involvement. And it's based on giving back. And, yes, I do a lot of work in, in the community. And uh, my ownership group allows me to give back a lot. But it's not the work that I do. It's the work that our staffs have done at each stop that I've been, whether it's through sales, whether it's through marketing, uh, whether it's through PR, promotion, uh, because we handle everything from the business side of things, but also it's giving back. And it's the things that everyone in this room has done, either as educators or as community leaders or as business people. You know, we all need to make sure that we remember the reason we're put here is really to help others. At the end of the day, at some point in life, we're all going to need assistance. So along the way, we should be the one giving assistance. And that's the way that uh, we're, we raise our children. Uh, that's the way I've been fortunate to be able to run our franchise, serving as the president of the Omaha Storm Chasers, which were the AAA affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. Do not hold that against me. One day they'll win again. But that's how we've run our franchises. And I do challenge each of you that are here today to make sure that you reflect, and whether it's your religious affiliation, whether it's through your favorite social charity, your favorite health charity, your favorite civic organization, your favorite educational program, how can you be a mentor? How can you be a friend? How can you do it? Because I, that's what I challenge our staff to do. And I tell you, thank you so much to the uh, alumni committee. Thank you so much to the selection committee. I, I uh, graciously accept this award, and I will proudly display it at the office so my staff has to continually hear about <laughs> Ruston, Louisiana, and Lincoln Parish. Thank you so much. Go Bulldogs, but more importantly, go Bearcats. Yeah.